locking yourself in is actually quite easy, but locking out your emotions is a completely different story. It's probably a mistake anyway. Take the best orgasm you ever had, multiply it by a thousand and you're still nowhere near it. Sure, you could try, but it would take effort, and wouldn't that effort better be spent in coming up with a good plan and then sticking to it? Just as people said, you're crazy when you were buying GME on the dips, those same people now will tell you to sell on every rise. Ignore these people. They chose the daily humdrum, the 9 to 5, chasing normality while ignoring the absurdity. Or maybe they didn't. Who cares? You've got your own opinions and you value them higher than the opinions of others. Your self-worth depends on things you can control. You wouldn't hand over your mind to somebody else. You'd fight for it just as you would your body. You chose hope when all was lost. You chose bravery when there was nothing left to give. You'll never let somebody else tell you how much you're worth or how much your GME shares are worth. Despite the feeling of aloneness that comes with this stoicism, you'll never walk alone. You've made friends at this stage of the journey that you'll have for life. Whichever price you choose to sell at, $69,420, $1 million or $10 million per share, the choice is yours and nobody else's. Come what may, we're all dead men anyway. Ultimately, we're all dead men. Sadly, we cannot choose how, but we can decide how we meet that end in order that we are remembered as men. The question isn't really, at what price will I sell, but more, how do I want to live my life? We control, at all times, our judgments, our attitude, and our actions. Every trial in the last few months, in GME and in life, has been an opportunity for virtue and action. And despite it all, you've made it here. Now you must pick your targets and stick to them while fighting an enemy that has been practicing your entire life. Shadow boxing in your darkest fears and running marathons while you're asleep. Your fear and your envy. How to win. Let no act be done without a purpose. Even in the face of an uncertain outcome, Always place your efforts towards achieving your goal. Just by getting here, you've proved to yourself again that you can commit to a higher purpose. Your willpower always overcomes your fear. If you're tempted to sell before your target, remember you picked it for a reason. And can you now settle for less and keep a brave face on it? Choose disappointment and choose losing the ones you loved and as they fall from view a piece of you dies with them until you can see that one day in the future piece by piece they will all be gone and there'll be nothing left of you to call alive or dead run and you'll live at least a while and dying in your beds many years from now would you be willing to train all the days from this day to that for one chance just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take until you're satisfied. Don't waste time stressing over things you can't control. Instead, plan so that when the time comes, you can still feel the fear and the grief and the anger that comes with closing a big position but you'll be able to execute anyway. When the squeeze starts, choose to celebrate it with me and bring your friends. We'll be live streaming at youtube.com slash tradespotting. You've already aligned yourself with the good nature of the universe and the good nature of others. The mother of all short squeezes is a celebration in the advancement of our cause and in the pleasantness of friendship. So let's enjoy it together. The peak will be unpredictable. Prices will dance like sunlight through glass and capturing them 
will not be easy. But whatever happens, and however long it takes, days or weeks, I'll be here at Tradespotting, doing the TA, staying calm, and I'd love if you were to join me, and afterwards we could walk away, having shared the moment that will have changed a million lives. There's lots of different ways to measure the squeeze to see if we're near the top, different indicators that'll tell us the strength of the trend and when things are reversing. There's various ways to relinquish your position. I'll cover all of them and more when the squeeze is happening, so tune in for that.